against my better judgment, I'll continue playing right now. Uh, it's and I'm gonna take note of the time. 1.35 p.m. at the start of this video. That way I'll know it was 11 a.m. when I did the other one. It was 100% like 11.30 a.m. But, but now I'll know how long this takes. Okay, Holy Land, King Grievous News, starting Richard the Lionhearted's third mission in his campaign. That is what we're doing today. Richard the Lionhearted, mission three. On his way to the Holy Land, Richard must rescue some of his treasury and men that were captured by King Isaac of Cyprus. And my wife. My wife as well. Well, soon to be wife. We get married on Cyprus. Yes. Thanks for ignoring that part of my story that I get married on Cyprus. Dicks. Ill tidings came out of Alt Altremer. A mighty general named Saladin had united the kingdom of Syria and Egypt and led them to overwhelming victory against the Crusaders in the Battle of Hayton. Worse, Saladin had gone on to reclaim many of the Crusader cities, including the most holy Jerusalem. Because, what is the guy's name? Guy de Lison sucked, was terrible, useless. Richard was one of the first nobles to take the cross. Through the Saladin tithe, the citizens of Europe donated funds for the coming crusade. Richard left in 1190, remarkably late because he had to spend months actually getting more and more money, uh, with a fleet of ships bound for the Holy Land. Storms at sea wreaked, wreaked havoc on the fleet, wrecking half of his ships upon the shores of Cyprus, an island in the Mediterranean. One of the beached ships contained Richard's treasury, which was promptly seized by King Isaac, the ruler of the island, who was like, oh sweet, a bunch of money. Richard arrived on Cyprus and demanded the return of his gold, which Isaac flatly refused. Finders keepers! The King of England then resorted to a path he was much more comfortable with. Force. That's not necessarily fair. King Richard was actually a very strong, uh leader in terms of diplom diplom diplomacy and cunning and all of that. Um, there was a book, or at least an article, I have yet to really do too much research into this, but there was someone who was looking at um, how King Richard and Saladin conducted diplomacy with each other and what their diplomacy actually was supposed to be doing. And most of what the person like, is, is arguing is that most of it was just to buy time or to figure out enemy positions or to get a glimpse at enemy strengths. It was just, it was all just intelligence gathering. That was the whole thing that they were doing back and forth for a lot of that part. A lot of their fighting was just intelligence gathering through diplomatic action. Which, so, you know, give him some credit. He's much more shrewd than you think. Ah, I'm on a ship. These don't exist. <laughs> oh boy, I hope I get a villager. There we go. Okay. The villain Isaac claims rule of the island and its pitiful, pitiful, pitiful in inhabitants. He has imprisoned crusaders and filched the Saladin tithe for himself. You should leave my island while you still can, dear king. Isaac of Cyphus. Your conduct is appalling, and your aggressive presence will not be tolerated. You know, uh, if you weren't, ex oh, well, you're not even a part of the Christian church. You'd be Greek Orthodox, no matter what, probably. Oh my. Can I use this? I can't do it. It just exists. Oh. Uh, but fuck you. That's number one. That's point one. And number two, Leopold of Austria got fucking excommunicated for imprisoning Richard. It was hilarious. <laughs> Because it's it's a it's a crime to uh, arrest Ready. crusaders, I guess, or something like that, to, to imprison them when they because you know they're not they're not they're in the service of the Pope and God at that point, according to the rules Ready. of the papacy. So if you imprison a crusader, you get excommunicated, Ready. like Leo, like good old Ready. Leopold of Austria. Ready. Go there. Ready. All right. Can I research anything? I start with. Do I start with everything from two? Cool.
cool. I can deal with that. That's neat. Um, get out of the get 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 get. You're useless to me. Oh, everything's so slow and useless. All right. Arrows. He lived. Suck. Suck. They both are alive, but I don't really care. Okay. Catapult to right there. Richard will go through the mountain. Oh, there's a mine up there. Fascinating. You know what? I'll keep exploring. It's fine. Who cares? Ooh. Another thingy, my bobber. Please pull up the map so I may see. Hmm, interesting. The map can go away now. I don't care. I'm going to build my first city right here. Take that archery range off of them. You know, it'll be nice. I want it. King Isaac, day one. I guess he's using the Frankish, uh, the Franks. Sibs, uh, bonuses and stuff. Ow. Which means he'll be cavalry orientated, which is weird, but okay. Day two, I gained no resources. It was a shame. Ooh, a castle. Wow. I'm not sure he was wealthy enough to actually have, like, real decent fortifications on his island, so I'm gonna call some bullshit on that, I think. But, you know, it's fine. I'm a man, I can deal with it. I'm not a little baby boy. Surprise! I came through the swamp. Wing. Smash. Ready. Ready. Spear. Uh, do I leave the stable? Ready. Mm. Not for the first town. I'm gonna break this baby. Ready. 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 I guess we could just stand here and do nothing. It's cool. Why, why would I want us to do anything? Ooh, I can come through the, uh, the swamp. I'm just a little afraid of my guy getting, like, killed en route, and then I'm just like, oh, well, this is the only troops I'm gonna use this whole match. Might be possible. Who knows? I don't have any heals, so I doubt it. End of my turn. I end my turn. Oh, he starts in... The feudal age? Cast the castle age? What a bunch of bullshit. Yes, yes. Your your resistance is futile. You are weak. You will all die. Please get out of my way. Oh, I start in the castle age too. Never mind then. It is fair. However, victory still goes to me. So please get out of the way. Okay. I'm kind of busy kind of got things I want to do. Very, very busy here at Relic Enterprises. Very, very busy. Very, very, very busy. Busy indeed. Very busy. Very, 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 very busy. Very busy. Just very busy. No time to waste. Very busy. Work never stops. Very busy. Got, got to move forward. Ready. Very busy. Yes. Hey, Arbalist. Piss off. Oh, he lived. Shit. Ready. Build a town center. I'd like to leave this guy on there and see what happens whenever I take the thing. Does he just still stand on top of my building, which shouldn't be allowed? But I'm also afraid Ready. that I would end up crashing the game, so I'm not going to do that. Yes. Instead, I'll just kill Ready. him and move on and, and yes. never worry about it ever again. Because that seems like a far better choice than finding out the answer to life's great mysteries. That'll be the next objective, is to build the church for healers. Because I need it. For healing. 
And then I think we just boost the shit out of all... Like, the horses are gonna matter. I'm gonna get all my knights killed as soon as I can. Um, I need infantry and I need archers. That's all I care about. Again. You can't beat me. If my own father couldn't beat me with four towns, three town, four town centers. He built one of them, yes, but four town centers, and there's no way that you can defeat me. You may as well give up. Beat them down again. Fill them full of arrows. You can't tell me that I can't research anything. Oh my gosh, I'm five gold away from researching? Well, that's just stupid. Okay, what can I research now? Heavy plow, town patrol. Is that it? No. I can improve my healing with the monks. And I need that. Because the monk's healing by itself isn't very good. But once you get both the upgrades for it, it's pretty damn good. I'm just gonna have a pack of monks roving around healing my people. That'll make them invincible. My villager! You bastard, I'll kill you. Goals. Destroy all Cypress castles. Capture all relics. Capture all Cypress towns. Okay, well. When did that happen anyway? I don't know. Well, it depends on what they mean by capture. Wow, King Isaac. Wow, look at his military. Wow, look at his economy. Wow, look at his technology. Wow. What a pleb. I'm gonna kill him. The castle sucks, and you suck, and you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm gonna starve your economy of your tiny shit island, and then I'm gonna kill you. So I hope you're ready for that. Because the pain train has left the station. Choo-choo. I'm just gonna fill the... Uh, this mission isn't even worth my time. It's so stupid. I'm just gonna fill up here with like longbowmen and rain death upon them. He can't even fire back because his whole thing are a bunch of stupid scorpions because they intend in some made-up fantasy world for you to either wander over this goddamn mountain with infantry or walk across this bridge. Why would I do that? I'm just gonna rain down hell upon you with arrows. There's not a goddamn thing you can do. Why would I ever come fight you on your terms? Idiot. This mission sucks. You can't have this type of mission be in the very hard campaign. This is stupid and too easy. There be a town over there. I have to destroy it. I must destroy that town. The town must be destroyed. Don't do that. I want to take this over. I will heal you. Even though villagers are supposed to repair you. That's how the Age of Empire series works, but it doesn't happen in this one. I can't buy these monks. I'm too poor. Please trade the fucking food for gold. Yes. Our first mine is open for business. His fortress is demolished, sire. It will burden you no longer. Oh, I thought it said destroy all Cyprus castles. I didn't realize that it was just destroy Cyprus castle. One castle. Solo. Where's the challenge? In the very hard campaign, where is the challenge? Where is the very hard part of the very hard campaign? Because I'm not seeing a very hard element to this. I'm seeing a weak, crap enemy force that, I've, that I'm just going to plow right over. And this comes on the heels of fighting another weak, crap force that I plowed right over. Oh man, your building is burning. Isn't that terrible? It's gonna be a lot worse coming your way here soon. You're building troops in the place that you're not even gonna be able to fight me from. You are just the most magnificent, intelligent, sexy enemy I have ever fought. It will be a shame to have to defeat you and put you six feet under in the ground. But I take my duty very seriously, and so I will put you six feet in the ground. And then I will hold a marriage on your island. Probably not in your home, because fuck you. But certainly on your island. And I could run up there and cause some mischief, cause some trouble. 
I don't know if it's worth it to do that though, so I will uh, I will just sit here and I will stare. Absently. No, not absently, but menacingly at them. So that they know to fear me. Lord Richard the First, King of England. Very powerful. Very good looking. <laughs> People allege that King Richard the First was like 6'5. But his brother John is like 5'6. So it's like, really? I don't know about all that. <laughs> I don't know how far I'm gonna believe that. And we know King John was 5 whatever. Because we found, like, his remains were able to be exhumed and looked at. Richard I's remains were lost during, like, the French Revolution or something. So, like, no one knows how tall Richard was. It'd be really weird for him to be an entire foot taller than his brother John. It'd be really strange, right? Really, really weird. That's not normally a thing that happens. That one sibling is an entire foot taller than the other. Usually doesn't happen. It's okay. I like where we're at. Ready. Especially now. Now we're at a great place. Hey, that farm? You should have stood on it. Now it's gone. Fool. Alright, well we're gonna wrap this baby up here soonish. I have to go grab the relics still, of course. Um, uh, but we're almost done with all that. You know, we're almost done. We're almost Ready. finishing it up. It's great, it's beautiful, it's wonderful, Ready. fantastic. Batal. So I just wanted to show these, his whole Ready. army just being bombarded by Batal. fucking Ready. archers, just endlessly. Batal. I haven't been pestering them, which was probably a mistake, because it means he has excess resources now, but, Crystal. you know. Signing. Just didn't feel like it. Batal. Ready. Ready. Man, I can't hit from here. I gotta go to the other side. Oh, I don't want to attack a tower. That sucks. Uh, oh, I don't really have an option. I'll just buy her from here. Because I don't want them to come out and fight me, right? I'll just, I'll just sit here and keep shooting arrows up. They're too stupid to come over to me. Beautiful, beautiful. Great, great. Wonderful, wonderful. Yep. That'll be perfect most strategic useful place for another castle there will be no there's there's just no better option end that day end that day and begin day 34 where isaac will move his men around slightly and that's it and then we'll begin day 35 where i'll continue to bombard his forces that don't that do nothing to defend themselves whatsoever wow i almost fell asleep sitting in my chair I almost fell asleep Ready. And I didn't even, I didn't even notice it. Oh, man. Ready. I'm just so tired. Batal. I'm so sleepy. Ah, oh, but it's far too early to go to bed. Far too early. It's only 2.53pm. Too early for Ready. bed. Come on, King Isaac. Fight King Richard. The Lionheart. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. If you choose to fight, you choose to die. You chose to fight, and now you're dying. Wow, you're really actually quite shitty. You're very shitty. Are your stats even different than the normal defaults, or uh, was it just the normal champion's stats? Because, my god. Just, my god. You're so weak. Crystal. Shining. Heal. Aha! 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 Alright. My lord, please be merciful. My kingdom is lost. Spare me my life. Defeat Isaac of Cyphers. There it is. The final relic. Hopefully the objective will be completed and saved it just by me picking it up and not having to drag it back to the church. It's really far from being away. But if I do, it's fine too, I suppose. Yeah, how's your battering ram going to defend your town? Riddle me that. It isn't, that's correct. Ready. Okay. Kill that guy. Ready. Fire arrows Batal. on his building. Ready. Richard will attack it. It's Ready. now gone. Batal. You're now dead. These relics will make a nice addition to your treasury, my lord. I've captured all of the relics. It's over. Ready. 
Victory can be. I attacked the wrong thing. Victory can be mine. 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 Ready. Battle. Ready. Battle. Ready. Good. Break already. Battle. Jeez. Thankfully, it's over. I have won. I have defeated the enemy. Let's get a preview of the next battle, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Ah, oh, the scores. It wasn't fair. It was never fair. He didn't even fight back. I hated this mission. In a strange twist of events, Richard simultaneously reclaimed his treasury and found himself the ruler of the island of Cyprus. It would prove to become a very valuable staging area for supplying the Crusader states both then and in years to come. For his part, King Isaac regretted his actions against the mighty King Richard and begged not to be chained in irons. Richard, in an apparent show of mercy, agreed to Isaac's request. He chained him in silver shackles instead. I don't know if that's true. I would have to look that up. It might just be fluff. Game fluff. Mission 4 will be known as the Siege of Acre. After finally arriving in the Holy Land, Richard lays siege to the city of Acre. Acre? Who cares? Anyway, that'll do it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll, we'll do Mission 4 a different time. It's now 3.02pm and I started this at like 1.35 I think. And that was like the easiest, most bullshit mission ever.